This is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to explain or describe how I sort my records. Now, this was explained in my room system tour, but um, I thought I'd make a shorter video with just how I explain how I sort my records and, and also to uh, get some feedback in terms of the viewer, uh, you, in terms of how you sort your records in your music uh, room or in your home or where you store your records. So this is going to be a shorter version of what I have in my uh, room system tour. And also, I have an overflow closet across the hallway, which I'm going to show at the end of this video with CDs in them. I didn't show that in my music uh, system room tour as, w tour as well. So I'm going to start with saying all my records, for the most part, are alphabetized. With the A starting here, and it continues on down the rows. Now they're al alphabetized irregardless of the genre. For example, Cannonball Adderley and Herb Alpert are going to be around the same area. So again, they continue, they start up here of the A's and continue alphabetized all the way down to the bottom. These records here. Are probably are, are recent uh, purchases. Purchases. They're also, um, you know, just simply records I hadn't gotten to yet. So I, if I buy a a thrift store record, a new record, I usually put them down here. There's another section I'm gonna show you that serves a certain pur same purpose later on in this video. But these are most likely um, most of them are thrift store finds and some of the newer purchases like UHQRs and so on and so so forth. But they could my records alphabetized continue at the bottom and across the room here. I have to maximize the space. And they continue on this top shelf. Alphabetized. All the way down to the bottom shelf. And there are six rows on this shelf. And they continue alphabetized across the room to this shelf here. And it continues on this top row, alphabetized all the way to the bottom row. And then all of a sudden, it goes up. Alphabetized, continuing on this row. This is another six rows. You can't see the bottom row because these speakers here are in the way. These speakers are on casters and wheels. So I do when I do my critical listening, this speaker here moves over here. And this speaker here moves in a corner more. And this chair moves in the back. Now I can get a fine uh, sound stage or 3D sound stage from this chair right here the way it is it's just better when it's moved towards the back as my system is right here now the alphabetized records continue at this top row here and it continues all the way up to where I have some but not all of my ABC impulse records right here now, why do I put them in that section? Why do they have their own section? I think they just display better in their own section, to be honest with you. I think they're beautiful covers. So they have their own section. And right here are some old school audio file pressings from the 80s for the most part, maybe 90s. And then the alphabetized records continue right here. And then stop. In this section here from here all the way around here those are newer records some I got to and listen to others I have not you know but I keep my newer records uh, that I'm still going through and listening to and in a certain section and this is a section they're right in my face I can't forget about them so they're right in the middle some are most of them are still uh, still sealed and hadn't gotten to yet and then the alphabetized records be, start again right here. They continue 
to this row here. And this row here. Now there is a row at the bottom. And the alphabetized records end around right where these uh, SHM, SACDs are. This section here are quadraphonic records. I have quadraphonic records probably the length of this entire section, but it's at the bottom row. And then I have autograph records and miscellaneous records down at the bottom. Down here are classical box sets and other type of uh, box sets as well. What I plan to do with these records and all these records and items down here, I plan to put them in crates similar to this one right here. So when I have to get to records at the bottom row, I just have to move the crates and it's not a big trip moving all this stuff. So I'm gonna put those in crates. The top row are CDs. And in back of this row is a row of the same length. The CDs start here. Like I said, there's a row of the same length in back of it. Same with uh, this row as well. Not all of them are alphabetized. They have, they're in certain sections. For example, my SACDs are in this section, at least probably 60% uh, of them, 70% of them are in this section here. And there's a row of the same length in the back. And my CDs continue on this top row here. On through this top row here. Like I said, I have to maximize the space. My wife was kind enough to let me take the closet doors off this closet so the records display better. So I'm going to take you across the hallway to uh, my overflow closet where I keep some of my CDs as well. And this is it right here. Now... As you see this row, there's a row on back of this, I don't know if you can see it, of the same length. And back of this row here. You can see it better if I move these. Sorry for the poor lighting. And the same with this row. There's a row on back of this row of uh, CDs of the same length. This row I was able to put a row of a CDs on back of this one of the same length and also some on top. I think there's some miscellaneous mobile fidelity SA CDs in this section as well. And it continues on this shelf. There's some miscellaneous audio accessories here, some DAT tapes. And again, this row, there's a row on back of this one of the same length, there's a row on top. Stack on top. Same with this all the way down to the bottom. Some miscellaneous items down here. A few of my box sets, not all of them, are right in this section. And let's go back to the music room. But... My turntables, turntables are on top. Technics SP15. A Riga P8. Sorry for the glare coming through the window. But it is a Riga P8 turntable. What fed a 3 cartridge. My phono stage. A West. 0.20. Phono stage. This associated power supply. That's a phono stage right there. But... At any rate, how do you sort your records? I mean, a lot of uh, audio files sort them by genre. I just sort mine alphabetically. 
So how do you sort your records? Please leave your comments in the comments section below. Thank you viewing. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. God bless. Love and peace to all.